What the fuck? Some people have to learn. Some people wait to turn. Some people have to fight. Some people give the lie. Some people don't believe. But I was born a champion. Yeah, I know. I haven't seen you guys in a while, like, I haven't made a review in like a month and a half. Wow, that is a long time. But anyway, I'm back and I'm going to review another movie for you guys, and today I'm going to review Silent House. Now, Silent House is basically about a girl and her father going into their old cottage that they used to go to, and they're packing everything up, and they're selling the ca and they're selling the cottage. But then sooner or later, things get a little bit out of control, which basically because it's a freaking horror film. I actually had some pretty high expectations walking into Silent House. And, and during the beginning and everything, I was like, oh, sweet. But then the ending came and... What the fuck? Now, the performances, they were just flat out. Um, Elizabeth Olsen, she's um, the sister of the Olsen twins. And um, she did okay. I mean... Sometimes she just, like, her reactions went, went just a little bit too far, and sometimes she just sounded like a fucking chimp, or her, it, her cries sounded like she, like she was laughing. And it's not good at all. And the rest of the cast are pretty much unknowns, which I'm not really going to mention them. Basically, the dad and the uncle, they did okay. They weren't really that good. The cast was not very good in this movie, which I wasn't really expecting. I mean, come on, it's a horror film. Now, anyway, let's just get on to what I did, lo did like and what I did not like about this movie. Now, for what I did, like, the first, like, fit, probably, like, 50, 60 minutes of the film or 70, because this movie is, like, 85 minutes long, 88 minutes long, I can't remember. But, like, most of the time, she's basically just running away, trying to get out of the house, like, seeing who this freaking guy is. It's very entertaining, and um, I just had a fun time watching it. And, um, sometimes it was just, and it, sometimes it had good character development with Elizabeth Olsen's character when she was just like, holy shit, what the fuck is that? Well... I should, like, merely just, like, went to a different subject. When you're following Elizabeth Olsen's character, she's not, like, that... She's not really that boring to follow most of the time during movies. She can definitely be freaking annoying and very boring. But she didn't do it as much as I thought it uh, as I thought it would. And there's a lot of what-the-fuck moments in this movie, big time. Some of them I liked and some of them I hated. I'm going to get onto that, which I'm moving on to what I did not like about this movie. Now, for what I did not like... The fucking ending of the movie. Okay, I was having such a good time with, with watching the beginning of the movie. Like, for the first, like, six, 70 minutes, probably, I was like, okay, this is pretty fun. This is, like, a good, uh, uh, this is a pretty good, fun movie to watch. Then, like, with the whole ending thing and all this weird, fucked up shit was happening, and I'm basically just all really confused, and sometimes I just flapped my ass off, because it was so stupid. I mean, all the things they did in this movie, it was on and off and on and off. I'm like, jeez, this thing is such a mind fuck. And I'm like, what the hell? I, I just really hated the ending. I mean, come on. You were doing such a good job. And that freaking ending came and turned to a big pile of poop on a stick. And even some other times during the beginning, it's just... Just can be boring and just uninteresting and sometimes just freaking laugh out loudish. And um they meet they I so think they could have done a way better job with this movie, but they decided not to and just make it completely fucking stupid. Which I was really disappointed with because I had some high expectations. I thought this movie was gonna be a pretty fun, enjoyable time, but no. They decide to have um just have it be entertaining in the first seventy minutes, but then the last twenty minutes be have it be a fucking piece of shit. Congratulations! Man! Well, overall, you guys, Silent House, it's bad. I mean, I was really enjoying it at first. And I'm like, I was first, I'm like, this is really fun. I'm giving it a three and a half out of, star out of five stars. No! The grade completely changed. Overall, I'm giving Silent House two out of five stars. I could never think that I would be having such a good time, and then the, right when I leave, I fucking hate it. Silent House, you did it. Congratulations. You should not be proud of that. So that's my review of Silent House, guys. I really hope you enjoyed my review. And I'm Lucas Stringer. I'll see you guys later. Really later. Probably going probably to be like another month since I'm busy as fuck.